The COMSOS project demonstrated the potential of solid oxide fuel cells to contribute to the decarbonisation of the building sector, addressing the challenges of efficient, sustainable and reliable energy supply. The integration of SOFs with other renewable energy technologies and their ability to operate on a large variety of fuels provides a reliable and sustainable energy supply for non-residential buildings. The modularity of the SOFT technology makes it easy to combine the modules and scale up the size to meet the energy demand of larger buildings or facilities. The COMSOS consortium includes the coordinator of the project, three solid oxide fuel cell manufacturers and integrators, More than 445 megawatt hour of electrical energy have been generated by the nine COMSOS SOFC units installed worldwide, with a total of more than 16,800 operating hours. SOFs can also be very effective in certain markets thanks to their capability of working also in reversible mode to produce hydrogen and syngas. SOFs are electrochemical components able to directly convert the chemical energy contained in the inlet fuel into electricity without any intermediate step. Compared to internal combustion engines or micro turbines, the SOF can produce a higher quantity of electrical power with the same amount of inlet fuel thanks to its higher electrical efficiency. The exhaust gases from the SOF modules are found at high temperatures. The as-produced heat can be employed for heating purposes during the winter season and for cooling needs through an absorption chiller during the summer. The soft performance is guaranteed from kilowatts to megawatts, not depending on the system size. Furthermore, the power output can be varied in a wide modulation range without losses in the system efficiency. Systems can run on a large variety of fuels, methane, hydrogen, biogas and syngas. Because no combustion is involved in the process, no pollutants emissions, near zero, NOx, SOx, PM, VOC, are emitted to the atmosphere. Fed by natural gas, hydrogen, biogas, or mixtures of hydrogen and methane, the soft converts the inlet fuel producing electricity and thermal power with best-in-class efficiency. The energy system also includes a boiler or a heat pump to partially supply the thermal load and a connection to the electrical grid to cover the peaks in the electrical demand. COMSOS focus on non-residential buildings such as supermarkets, hotels, sports centres and data centres, which show a constant baseload in the electrical demand that well fits with the soft, stable and efficient operation throughout all the year. The soft system can cover the electrical baseload, supplying also a part of the thermal demand of the building. The graph shows the AC net electrical efficiency of one of the COMSOS soft units for a variable power output. The electrical efficiency in the range of 55% to 65% kept stable for a power output between 50% and 100% of the nominal power confirms the expected performance of the system. Thermal efficiency is quite constant with values between 20 and 30%. Emissions have been measured from the SOFC units in terms of NOx, PM and CO. NOx values are kept below the COMSOS targets of less than 40 mg per kilowatt hour. Emissions are kept stable even at a variable operating point. The particulate matter emissions from the SOFC are lower than that in the ambient air, since the SOFC system filters the inlet air and do not add any particulate within the process. Different market and business assessments have been performed during the project by the partners Blue Terra and Politecnico di Torino. Key factors for the installation of a SOFC within a certain country is the spark spread, which is expressed as the cost of electricity minus the cost of the natural gas divided by the average efficiency of the electrical system. Countries with a high spark spread are places where the electricity is expensive compared to the natural gas and are the best environments where to install a SOFC system. Other fundamental aspects for the convenience of SOFCs are the investment cost and the stack lifetime. The figure shows when the SOFC is the optimal solution for the building, in this case a supermarket, for a variable spark spread and a variable investment cost fuel cell capex on the horizontal axis.
In the case where the SOFC is included in the optimal solution, the bar dimension gives us information on the optimal FC size. For a spark spread of 0.1 euros per kilowatt hour, SOFC already at 8,000 euros per kilowatt. For a spark spread of 0.05 euros per kilowatt hour, SOFC convenience at 5,000 euros per kilowatt. When the SOFC is fed by natural gas, it becomes convenient compared to the electricity withdrawn from the grid. When the electricity carbon intensity is higher than 300 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour, a value still found in many countries worldwide. In the case of decarbonized fuels in place of natural gas, such as biological or synthetic methane or hydrogen, the SOFC is convenient also in countries with a lower electricity carbon intensity. From the economy's perspective, we have managed to build two quite different new applications and installations to set up for that. Both highlighting the particular strengths of soil oxide and fuel cell technology. 